Hey everyone, Jacob here. Just want to make a quick video giving you a tour and some more information about the tiny house. Again, if you have any questions, reach out anytime, but here hopefully answers some questions. So here's the outside. This uh, real wood was made by a buddy of ours in North Georgia. He milled it up for us, as well as the door. He made the door. Um, it's not been stained or sealed yet, so if you want a different color, we can do that. Or if you like the natural wood, we can just seal it as is. We'll give you a little creativity right there. As we come inside, we have a built-in bench with storage underneath. Tons of storage in this house, but there's a perfect place to store shoes, stuff like that. On top, we just have a cushion. Across from that is an area for a TV media center, if that's what you like. Or you can put something else there, table, uh, whatever you need. If we come and look down into the tiny house, you can see the stairs up to the loft. We'll come back to those and then the kitchen over there. This unit does have a built-in mini split air conditioner heat pump. Keeps this place super cool uh, and warm. So full-size kitchen, it's 102 inches end to end and it has a full-size sink here with drop-ins and a full-size faucet. Don't mind this air conditioner, I just have it here keeping the place cool while we're hooked up to lower power. The kitchen is quartz counters, speckled white. I think it looks very good. We have a propane stove here, so if you like to cook with gas, you're covered. And then the built-in microwave. Storage all throughout, plenty of storage for the kitchen. If you like to cook, plenty of room. Over here, space for a full-size fridge. If you'd like a full-size fridge, let us know. Or if you want something smaller with some built-in storage around it, we can do that. If you keep coming, we have floor-to-ceiling storage here that matches the kitchen. You know, perfect as a pantry or just storage for other things. Across from that is the utility area. So up top, we have power with a dedicated disconnect. We pre-wired things in this house on the 20-amp circuits. So if you did, for example, want to add a hood vent, it's already pre-wired on a dedicated circuit. Down below, area for a combination washer-dryer, already pre-plumbed, and then access to any other plumbing. Keep going, here's the kitchen. Custom barn door in a built-in pocket, so it's out of the way, out of sight, out of mind when you don't need it. Kitchen has the quartz countertops as well with the sink and the matching faucet. Light up mirror, heat so it stays fog free. Big oversized shower, if you're tall, perfect for you. And then over on this side is the toilet. Now coming back to those stairs I talked about, these were custom built. We have storage in every single step. So tall cabinet here for bigger items or you can throw some shelves in there. And then storage in every step, like I said. Now, coming upstairs, the loft, oversized. So, this is a queen bed. Over here, we have it set up as a kind of a little lounge area, but you can do whatever you need here. Uh, the lounge is nice though, just kind of relaxed, delineates the bed from a relaxing area. And then back there is set up as an office right now. So, if you work from home or study from home, you have a lot of room to put a printer, computer, anything you need, get some work done. It's very spacious. I'd you know, throw a beanie bag over there or something. Upstairs has three windows on each side. This side has an egress so you can get out in case of emergencies. Like I said, this house is inspected by NOAA certified. They have a third party inspector take a look at the house throughout the building process from framing to plumbing to electrical to final. They took a look at it so you know everything is covered on the building side. Uh, whether you buy this tiny house or something else, I'd encourage you to look into NOAA Certified uh, and see kind of what their process is. Uh, I think they're kind of the way to go. Um, so take a look. If you have any questions, want a video tour, or you want to come see it in person, or just outside of Atlanta, let me know. I'm available, and I hope you guys have a good day.